hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i have a very interesting video for you guys now today i will talk about the kali linux yes kali linux is basically the ultimate hacking operating system or the operating system actually used by uh, penetration uh, testers okay security experts all over the world but before starting the video a disclaimer for you that this video is only for educational purpose if you are doing some wrong things you will be punished basically don't hack anyone without its permission because it's illegal so you uh, may go to the prison for that so just uh, watch it for educational purposes and uh, test it in your own uh, setup lab okay so basically if you are new to my channel then of course subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon so without further delay let's jump into our main topic today this is the main kali uh, official website you can see www.kali.org so this is the official website and here you will see that uh, it is the kali linux it is the most advanced penetration testing distribution of the linux distribution and it's really true Offici officially supported uh, distribution for hacking and for security experts it is the kali linux of course and you will see uh, here uh, now a uh, latest version uh, 2022.3 uh, is released now and you can see this is the uh, re really nice interface you can see here and also uh, you can see that Kali Linux can be installed in desktop in laptops even in mobile phone that is called the Kali Net Hunter and you can see this is the Kali Net Hunter and also you can install in uh, windows 10 also in the wsl2 that is windows subsystem for linux and you can also uh, install this uh, wsl2 the kali linux in the wsl2 and you uh, can see here that the <coughs> desktop of the windows 10 it will share actually for both for kali linux and also for the windows 10 that means all apps uh, you are opening either from windows 10 or from kali linux it will appear in the same place you can see this is a really nice thing and the uh, the package is called winkex all right so also now the history of kali linux is really interesting now actually in the previous days before 2004 there are much of exploits scattered all over the world exploit means some code some executable file that can penetrate one's system one's computer but uh, it was uh, scattered uh, here and there but uh, one project was started that uh, compiling uh, those software and built a uh, uh, hacking os or penetration testing os basically and the uh, project started and in 2004 the whoopix uh, version was released uh, based on knopix linux and later it was a wax uh, by uh, the base was uh, changed to a slack os and and then basically uh, we uh, got the backtrack so backtrack uh, was uh, released in 2006 and it is it was uh, firstly in the slackware based but uh, later it uh, was um, ubuntu based right so you can see and and then in 2013 march 2013 the great operating system kali linux uh, was released yes and the kali version 1 and that is based uh, that was based on a debian 7 wizzy at that time the uh, now basically kali linux is a uh, rolling release distribution that means you will all uh, you will always get the latest software packages of hacking or uh, general purpose software so always you will get latest software packages because kali is rolling release since 2016 so uh, don't worry about that it is debian based so older packages you will get no it's a, a rolling release so it is based on debian testing so this is the uh, history of Kali Linux and uh, nowadays Kali Linux actually uh, gives you some certification uh, courses also. Now I will talk about that which uh, uh, ISO you have to download to install the Kali Linux. So basically uh, here you can see uh, if you click the get Kali so you will uh, see. Now what is the bare metal? Bare metal this is the main uh, uh, ISO image you can say and this is basically the installer you actually have to download this and you can install it in the hardware and also you can choose some desktop environments or some additional tools whatever you like basically some customization you can make while installing 
So this is the bare metal. This is the uh, basic uh, recommended uh, installation. And also you can run Kali Linux in virtual machines. Basically, you can see the virtual machines uh, are already uh, actually built very nicely and you have to just uh, download this virtual machine package and you can uh, use it in any virtual machine suppose VMware or uh, VirtualBox. You will see uh, when uh, I click here basically you can see that okay so VMware uh, image is also available VirtualBox is also available you can see. So basically you can download from here and uh, also uh, Kali Linux is available for ARM uh, devices for mobile devices uh, you can actually install uh, Kali Linux in Android devices and it is called Kali Net Hunter. So this is very very useful uh, tool and also cloud based platform are there and live boot if you want to use the Kali Linux without installing it so you have to download this live boot but the ISO file size is almost uh, 3.7 uh, gigabytes so something uh, larger than the uh, installer almost uh, 2.5 gigabytes so basically but uh, the main advantage is that in the live boot if you click here basically so you will see that uh, Okay, so you can see you will get all the bare metal, uh, you can get all the bare metal uh, facilities in this USB boot. Basically, you can uh, suppose uh, burn this uh, ISO to a USB and you can actually use anywhere, any in any device, the Kali Linux without installing it. So this is a very, very useful thing. So 32 bit, 64 bit available, you can see this is so basically uh, this is uh, for Kali USB. So Kali uh, 2022.3, it is the latest version and you can uh, download the images, ISO images from torrent also. So torrent is a really important thing because the, uh, you can see the size is 3.5 gigabytes. So I will recommend download via torrent. So this is Kali Linux and also you can see here this is the WSL so Windows subsystem for Linux and it is available in Microsoft Store. You can see when you go to the Microsoft Store you will see that the Kali Linux is present here basically. But uh, by default installation you will not get any GUI graphical interface for that you uh, have to download the packages uh, to um, get those. Now basically uh, so I will recommend either you install the bare metal uh, that is the installer but you can't use it uh, uh, without installation you have to first install it but also you can uh, basically do the live boot system but uh, you can also install the live system but uh, no customization allowed during the installation. Now you will see that uh, in this release what are the new things just uh, see here. Uh, actually you can chat to the security experts relating to different uh, documentation or different um, troubleshooting and this is uh, actually maintained in discord uh, chatting services and uh, you can see this was this is introduced also IRC uh, uh, internet uh, relay chat also available um, here and now uh, the test environment uh, Kali Linux uh, introduced basically you can test your penetration testing softwares and whatever you can do you can uh, set up a test lab in the Kali Linux itself so a new package uh, is generated basically and here you will see this uh, the package name is Kali Linux Labs. So this meta package you can install in the Kali Linux and also in this uh, image it is uh, inbuilt. And you will see that DVWA uh, Dam Vulnerable Web Application and Juice Shop. This is actually the, uh, these two softwares are installed and these are basically parts of the Kali Linux lab. And also you will see <coughs> that for virtual machines uh, you can see uh, some changes are there are okay and other Kali updates now new tools now actually Kali Linux always uh, giving uh, some new tools when it is uh, actually uh, releasing some uh, new updates so always there and uh, there is some new tools and here in this release you will see some new tools are uh, brute shark and uh, uh, defect dojo PSP exploit and uh, shell fire and spraying toolkit and you can see uh, these uh, tools are new in Kali Linux uh, 2022.3 and NetHunter update Kali Linux uh, for uh, Android NetHunter update you can see uh, these things are there 
now if you know if you want to know that uh, what are the tools in the kali linux so you can basically kali uh, tools documentation you go there and here you will see that all the packages listed here now you can see this is the nmap aircrack ng and here are the uh, bunch of commands uh, you can use in the aircrack ng package and also you can see social engineering toolkits right set and you can see all the things the multi go okay so some information you can gather from here hydra this is a email uh, basically email cracking uh, software so all things uh, you will see here and basically a bunch of uh, tools are there in the kali linux and list of all tools uh, if you tick here then you will get a much uh, a vast amount of tools uh, here and also some documentation are here all for the all uh, packages so this kali uh, website is really really helpful uh, to be a security expert now you can see uh, the installation basically you can see the installation process of kali linux is actually this is the traditional uh, distribution uh, sorry traditional installer as the debian uh, has now installing uh, kali linux you can see now system requirement system requirements are really low because the default uh, desktop environment of kali linux is now xfce that is a lightweight desktop environment and you will see uh, at least 2 uh, gb of ram you required and 20 gb of hard disk space but if you actually use kali linux for some heavy uh, things so uh, i recommend you that 8 gb of ram and of course 100 gb of hard disk uh, you required so installation process uh, first of all you have to download the iso file you can burn the kali linux iso to a usb drive uh, by using uh, some uh, burning tools like uh, unit booting or uh, you can see uh, balena itcher and also uh, ventoy right so now you can see this is the boot this is the boot screen so graphical install you choose and here basically you choose the language so english and uh, you choose your location and the keyboard and basically now uh, a host name you can give here and configure the network domain name you can type anything here and also you can see you can now set the user so this is the username and you set the password and you can see this is a strong password you set it is recommended of course and now uh, you set the clock that is the locals now disk uh, if you have <coughs> already uh, some operating system in your uh, pc so just go for manual partitioning uh, otherwise uh, only if you uh, need only kali linux uh, for the entire computer then and you can install the guided partition yes and uh, you can see now uh, partitioning the disk you have to uh, uh, do the partitions so uh, basically uh, three partitions you need home esp partition and uh, swap partition now for the legacy bios you only need two partitions that is ext4 and one is swap partition <coughs> if you are using the uefi hardware then an esp partition uh, of the fat32 file system is required also you can uh, do some encrypted uh, volume so lvm and uh, now all the things uh, now you you can choose basically this option you will get uh, when you are installing uh, from the installer iso image bare metal installation so you can choose the desktop environment you can see uh, that xfc is the default uh, desktop environment also you can choose gnome or uh, plus kde plasma and also you can choose top 10 most popular tools for car linux and uh, if you take the large then whole bunch of softwares will be installed during the installation but uh, internet connection <coughs> must be available here to download additional packages and now uh, grub bootloader you have to install the grub bootloader so it is in the dev sda of course and uh, now if you continue then installation will start and uh, it will finish in a few minutes and now you can reboot the system and basically the installation has been done so that's all for uh, today's video uh, if you like the video then uh, share to your friends uh, tell to your friends and of course uh, like this video and subscribe my channel so uh, see you in the next video soon till then take care and goodbye